Okay, so namaste, welcome, wherever you may be across the planet, around the world. My name is Greg Prescott from N5D.com, and you're tuned into today's high-pitched frequencies. I can tell you, um, I'm probably going to be doing this maybe by myself. Oh, we just got one person in here. Uh, hiya, Jennifer. I'm glad you could make it. And Michelle. So... What I do, just a little brief explanation of how I come up with these frequencies. Every day there's like a new frequency that comes in or a different one. And right now what we're hearing, well, at least what I'm hearing, is this sound. And that's an F sharp. Now imagine that note being like two or three octaves higher. And that's that that's the high pitch frequency that I hear. But I can find that note on the guitar, and then you can find the chord on it, which would be so that that's your your F sharp. And if you look at the, the neck of the, the guitar, it's in between an F and a G. So F sharp. And when you look at the composition of the F sharp, we're looking at the F sharp itself, and then the C sharp, F sharp, B, D, G. Actually, G sharp, D sharp, and G sharp. Um, yeah. So. You have all these different notes within there. And this is what we're looking at, basically. Um, I, don't, I don't know if you guys can see that, but each fret on the guitar has a specific note aligned to it. And when you make a chord, you have all these different notes enmeshed within that chord. So we're also getting those frequencies from them. What I've been doing also, um, I've been taking this as far as I can. I just keep learning more and more each day. And let's, I'll put this one up here right now. But what we're looking at here is over here, we can see how each chakra is aligned to a specific note um, up here. So the crown, crown is the B, the third eye is an A, throat chakra is a G, heart chakra is an F. Solar plexus is an E, sacral chakra is a D, and the root chakra is a C. So, for example, the throat chakra would be this, a G. That's a G chord. And what we also have associated with each chakra in hermetic philosophy are the planets that are associated with each one. And I'll get into that in a few minutes. But as you can see, the first chakra, as you can see, I can't see. I'm blocking myself. <laughs> Where am I? Okay, let's go over like this. Okay. Like that. Okay. So the first chakra is the I am chakra and it represents Mars, the planet of war. And then the sec second chakra is I feel and Venus, third ch chakra, the solar plexus, I do and the sun, the fourth, the heart chakra is the moon. The fifth is the uh, throat chakra and Mercury. The sixth is the third eye and Saturn. And the seventh being the crown chakra is Jupiter. So we're tying this all together. There's so many messages that are encoded with these high pitch frequencies that are going on. Speaking of Mercury, oh gosh, we are in a Mercury retrograde right now. I was having some issues on Facebook earlier, and uh, it has a lot to do with Mercury retrograde, I'm sure, because as it turned out, Facebook was down in certain areas. I made a post on my Facebook page about that, so it wasn't just me, and other people confirmed that. So I was going to do a YouTube uh, live video instead of here on Facebook, because I can reach a lot more people on YouTube and I can just upload it here on Facebook. 
But uh, as it turned out, YouTube is also having uh, outage problems. So here we are, and I'm not sure how long we'll be on here. And I'm grateful for those who are able to join. I see six people here. So, and Mia's saying, hey, I got your notification. That's awesome. Apparently not many other people did, but <laughs> I'm so glad that everyone that is here is here. So thank you. So today, hang on, let me, I've been bouncing all around on the internet today. So I have to get back to my original information here. Bear with me. So today started out in the keys of D sharp and B. So when I woke up this morning, I heard that D sharp, and that would be like this. That's like one of the highest frets I can hit on the key, uh, on the fretboard, and that would be this pitch. Once again, imagine that being several octaves higher than that. And then within an hour, by around 9 o'clock or so, it changed to a B. So let's see. That would be this. And recently, in the past hour, it changed to an F sharp, which is this chord and that note. So let me know if any of you here are hearing this, and I'm going to be doing a replay on YouTube. Let me know, too, because I'll be premiering it there and following along with you guys on, on there. So let me know if you're hearing this. Okay, so what we're looking at, and this last one just came in, so I'm gonna be working through this with you guys as well. So the D major originally this morning is the sacral chakra, it's Venus, I feel, and that chakra represents sensuality, tenderness, and spontaneity. The D major also, because the D major, it kind of combines two different chords. It's, it's like a tweener. <laughs> so we're looking at what is this, but it's in between the D and the E. So it has both of those qualities which is why we're looking at the, uh, the sacral chakra and the solar plexus, I believe. Is that right? Yeah, the solar plexus. Uh, so the sacral chakra is Venus. The solar plexus is the sun, as you know. And um, it's I do, I do is the sun, the, the solar plexus. And that represents brightness, confidence, and optimism. Now, overall, the D major scale is a melancholy kind of scale. So it has like, you know, sadness within it. Now what we're looking at are Venus with the major chord, just that one note in Venus. Whoops, where is it? That one right there, okay, yeah. That's Venus, I feel. But what's going on with that right here, that being in between the D and the E, we have those two kind of battling it out, the D and the E, which gives us the D sharp. So you have basically, what is it? The sun going against Venus. And it's not, it's not really a battle to be won or lost. Um, Venus and the sun are enmeshed in empathy for what Mother Earth is going through. So they feel the discord and stress, yet understand this is all that needs to be played out exactly the way it is. So in conjunction with the high 
pitched frequency notes, the message so far up until this point is I feel the sadness of Mother Earth, but in the end, it'll all work out. Now, we just got this new one in, and honestly, I haven't even had a chance. You're watching this live with me, working through it, and so bear with me on this. So we have the F sharp, which is in between the F and the G, and that would be that's what's happening right now on several octaves higher than that and a much higher pitch frequency. So to look at the F sharp, because it's in between the F and the G, you have to look at both of those. So what we're looking at with the F, the F is the, the heart chakra and the G is the throat chakra. So they're higher level uh, chakras that we're looking at. And I'm gonna to go to our chart, because like I said, I'm working on this live with you guys right now. So the heart chakra is I love. It's represented by the moon and its traits are peacefulness, bliss and heartedness sweet and then what was our other one the G which would be the throat chakra which is I speak so we have I love from the heart and I speak for the throat and that's Saturn so the moon and Saturn which we all know are tied together anyway um, are actually working in unison in the hermetic philosophy and Actually, actually, no, I'm sorry, it's, it's Mercury. The throat is Mercury, which that makes sense. So we have the heart being the moon and Mercury, uh, the, the love goddess <laughs> comes from Mercury. So, and that's creativity and, and expression. So it makes all perfect sense when you tie all this together. What we started out with, with the D sharp, we had some dissension and some hopefulness kind of mixed together. It was basically Mother Earth coming from the root chakra saying, hey, things aren't right right now. But in the end, we know that it's gonna work out. And then we went to the B, which basically confirmed everything that the D minor showed us, and now into the F sharp, which is showing us love and compassion, uh, creativity, and to be able to come up with amazing solutions, as well as um, to understand why we're doing what we're doing and how it's all come about at this point in time. So, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm listening right now. This is the high pitch frequency that's going on right now. So let me know if you guys are hearing that. I'll take a look. Uh, welcome to everyone that's joined. We're up to 12 people. That's pretty good ever since I've gotten throttled. <laughs> Normally it's like 70 or 80, 100 people. I'm glad you guys were able to find me and that my, that disappeared on your notifications, or at least some of, some of yours. Michelle Rodriguez Westrich is saying that we've uh, been hearing lots of sound and tones ringing in the ears lately. It's important that you also, when you're looking at these and trying to interpret them, um, there's a, a global interpretation, which is what I try to do, but there's also personal interpretations. So I have these charts on the website on each article. Uh, you'll find both, both of these charts on there and look at them and see what's going on in your life. Um, there's some, sometimes you might be hearing your sounds predominantly from the right side. Sometimes it's from the left side in QHHT, past life hypno, hypnotherapy left side side of your body anything that's on your left side is your past life while anything on your right side is your current life and if you look at the divine feminine and the divine masculine your right side is your divine masculine the left side is your divine feminine so you're going to get messages on both sides of the body from whatever it is for example if you're getting a higher predominant high pitch frequency in your left ear that's the divine feminine coming in transmuting something from the past 
and where you have the high pitch frequency in the right ear, that's the divine ma masculine, basically doing the same thing for the present. Or it could be a message that you're getting from one or the other. It could be a divine masculine message, angel guide or something on your right side, as well as the divine feminine on your left side. So it gets really deep, but they're changing every day. Every day they're different. And what I've been noticing for the past three days is that they start out at one note, but they change relatively quickly. Uh, and I've noticed this, you know, starting out at, you know, when I wake up like six, seven o'clock in the morning, it's one loud noise. I hear it loud and clear, but by usually like nine or 10 o'clock, it changes. And here we are at one twenty three, one two three, And, uh, it's it changed again between nine o'clock and one o'clock it changed again and yesterday gosh i think we had five different uh high pitch frequency changes i ended up doing an update um on youtube and on the article last night just to update everyone oh there's a really loud sound coming in right now let me it's that one right it just came in now it's in both ears it started in the right now it's in both ears. That's wild that this happened right now, live. But wow, yeah, that's it. It's that one. So that would be a B. <laughs> that would be a B. Loud. Okay. We had that earlier today. All right, so it started out at D sharp and went into the B and then to the F sharp and back to the B. It's almost like going up and down, kind of like a, a Kundalini activation. So. This is so cool. <laughs> We're getting this live, a, a new frequency. I gotta write this down too. Because I am charting all these right now. Wow. Well, is, is, is anyone else hearing that? So the B, if you're to do a B chord, that would be the B, F sharp, B, D sharp, F sharp. And it's interesting that the F sharp is in there because the F sharp is what we just came from. So you have the one that we transitioned to from the one we came from. So the B and the F are basically tied together Well, the F sharp, B and the F sharp, that would be B, F sharp right there. Back to B, and then, and then the D sharp and the F sharp. Interestingly, I noticed this yesterday. I'm, I'm making like little notes on my chart. And uh, some of us are going through what I call a leaky ear. I had no other way to put it, but this discharge comes out. This, it's kind of gross. It's a clear liquid discharge from both ears. And I noticed that once it went into the key of B, I started getting really bad leaky ear. I haven't gotten it yet because we just got this one. I mean, it just came in minutes ago. <laughs> How cool is that? That's, that's freaking amazing. That one. Okay. So getting back to the B. The B is in between an A sharp and a C. So the C is the root chakra. The A sharp is the third eye chakra. And it's, it's right in between. It's one half step up and a half step down. So you have to look at the energies of both of those. It's kind of like if you were to look at an astrological chart 
and somebody was on the cusp and say say they were born on like the 20th of whatever month you know they're, they're cusping on two different signs and uh, that's what you're doing right here because here we have our B and we're cusping here uh, here as well as here okay so it's easier to do this way cusp cusp no so you're looking at the energies of both of those notes that are around the B so the, the notes around the B would be the A sharp minor so we would look at the A the A would be the throat uh, the third eye the chakra and the C is the root chakra and the B is the crown shock the crown chakra so we have the right okay yeah we have the crown the third eye and the root chakra going on within this B that we're hearing right now that's powerful okay looking at the uh, hermetic chart um, so we're looking at the third eye um, which is I see Saturn limitation time inevitable consequences is also mixed with the energies remember this is the cusp so we're looking at the a sharp and the C so we're looking at uh, the first chakra so the third eye and the first chakra are kind of like working it out right now and that's the I am so I have the I C and the I am Saturn versus Mars and this one's the ability to uh, survive and stability. So you have limitation, time, inevitable consequences with ability to survive and stability. All wrapped up in that. And I find it interesting. So what we're, we're doing on the chart, we went, like I said, from the D sharp to the B to the F sharp to the B. So it wouldn't surprise me if we went back to the D sharp or the B. No, it'd be the D sharp next. Wow. And honestly, you know, it's, it's like, it's like looking at an aura, you know, you can look at an aura and everyone wants to have the most br uh, brilliant, pretty, shiny colors. But even if your colors are, let's say you look at somebody's color and it's red and you think, oh my God, there's something really off with that person. No, no. And all that is, is an opportunity to work on something within yourself. So there's really no bad chord. There's no bad auras. <laughs> You know, it's just an opportunity. And when you hear these, think globally and then think individually. Go then. And what is it? What is the message that you're getting out of it? So does anyone have any questions here? Well, Joan's saying that that tingled her crown. Now, I can hear, I can almost feel it in my third eye. I mean, I, I, it's like going in between the ears and deep into the, the mind where the third eye is back there. That is so awesome. Christine saying, I heard it change just before you said something. It was so freaking loud. I, I think um, the stronger of an empath you are, maybe, um, or sensitive to music or sounds, there's something along that that people are easy can hear them easier or are just plain able to hear them can't explain it just yet this is all a new science you're you're on the cutting edge right here nobody else is talking about this so we're working it out together and I'm pulling a lot of things from what you guys are saying you know um, I had a woman uh, Skylar that asso associated the uh, the notes with the chakras and I was talking yesterday to Michelle and it just came to me about the hermetic planets. There's seven hermetic planets that would align up with the chakras. So it's, it's, and all this is tying in together and there's a specific reason why we're hearing these frequencies. And we know on a multidimensional level that they're doing so much more than what we can even explain right here, right now. Uh, Christine, Jack, Jack, uh, back of the head. I heard it change in the back of the head. Yeah. Hey, it freaks me out. <laughs> I've been hearing it all my life. I, you know, I, I think a lot of us have, and then we didn't really understand it until we started to awake and we heard other people hearing about it. We just didn't understand the, what the meaning meant. 
and now we're really diving in on it because you know every every song is based on you know a, a certain note or chord progression and they all work in unison with one another and this is why all these famous composers write all these different symphonies in specific keys to portray that emotion so we're getting that emotion through these high-pitched frequencies sometimes it's dissonant sometimes it is yeah mother earth crying out like she was this morning um, asking for help and but knowing that we're we're going to win in the end it's just she's going through so much right now and that's what those those frequencies this morning were saying but you can look at those on individual levels you know, what what areas of life am I struggling on that I know I can improve right now? We're getting there. We're getting there and we're figuring this out. And I'm so open to any other ideas that you guys have that can help me, you know, dig a little bit deeper into this and pull it out. Um, <laughs> Gainer said I was on her newsfeed. Yeah, uh, I'm coming up on news feeds, but I'm not coming up on notifications. If you're looking at your computer and you're subscribed to my notifications for live feeds, it should pop up automatically on the lower left-hand side of your screen. And for a lot of people, it's, it's not. Um, although we do have 14 people here, we should, like I said, we should have like, you know, normally, I don't know, 60, 70, 100. We've gone over that before. But I'm grateful for those of you that are able to tune in. What's really interesting too is that I noticed that on my security, it said that you know I, I live here in Siesta Key, so I should should see of where my location is and under my security settings on Facebook, it should say either Siesta Key or Sarasota or some town town nearby. But what it said was, what was it Utopia, Florida, which is on the other coast in Broward County of all places. So, so what I ended up doing was I, um, log, I, I logged out, I changed my security settings, I put a new password in, logged back on, and it still said the other side of the state. Go figure. And I, I don't know about you guys too, but I've been having these glitches in time so, for example, I updated my phone uh, this morning. It basically forced me to update my phone. And when I logged back on, it said that I had some messages. And even though I got the messages, even though I got the messages, let me see if you guys can see that, yeah recently yesterday it's showing them as october 30th <laughs> what's up with that so somewhere okay so we had 30th 31st and then today which is the 20th so it was a 22 day lapse of course 22 right there's some kind of loop a glitch a 22 day loop or glitch in time right there that is showing and earlier today i logged on to Yeah. Trying to pull it up right now. Bear with me. I logged on to YouTube because I was setting up my oops, it disappeared on me. I was setting up my uh live stream that I was gonna do on YouTube for later on today. And the date that it had on there was like August or April 18th. Wow, this is there's some serious Mercury retrograde going on. I tried to pull up Photoshop twice and it shut time glitches, apparently. This is crazy. Are you guys experiencing any Mercury retrograde BS going on? Apparently, Mercury doesn't like electronics, and we were just talking about Mercury with uh the throat chakra. <laughs> so Mercury's like, I hear you. <laughs> Okay, so let me scroll down here, see if I can find it. I don't, I don't think the date is relatively that important. Any, although it might be, and it would, I would love to figure out the exact numbers uh, in between the day. 
and I don't know if I saved it anyway. I'm looking and I can't find it. But I'm pretty sure it was uh, April either 13th or 15th that we looped back to on my YouTube when I was setting that up. So are you guys experiencing any time glitches? I, I know I was talking to um, several people recently and they've been experiencing that as well. Seeing like time glitches, time looping, certain things that are just seem to be happening over and over again. It might be different players in the game, but they're looping around and coming back. Are you guys uh, seeing that or noticing that? So anyway, we're just going to wrap it up there. I thought that was really interesting. To get that note right there at the time of... There. That was the one that came in while we were doing a live broadcast. So if you're just tuning in right now, that's the one. That's our current one. And we've gone from D sharp to B to F sharp back to B. Loud and clear in both ears. So I think I'm going to leave it off at that for now. And then I'll upload this onto the Invite to YouTube channel and put it out there as a premiere. And that way I can chat along with people that are listening and watching at the same time. So I want to thank everyone for joining me once again. And uh, I'll be back tomorrow. I'm going to see if I can do it on the... Uh, YouTube channel because I can reach a lot more people there. So join me over there. And if I'm unable to get that work worked out, I'll be back here, and then I'll post it back here. If I can work it out over there, I'll post the the recorded video back here. So until then, one way or the other, my name is Greg from In5D.com and Zentasia.com, sending you all infinite love and light. Peace.